Hello everyone, Ken and Loey here, back with Path of Exile after uh, a lengthy break for playing with my friends um, for Portal 2 co-op and uh, Magica Let's Play. So getting back to it, and uh, there are some things that I did purchase or switch over to this character from the last part, and I put on two Lee Hoopa Vols that I was planning to put on... Uh, eventually and and I had these on a, on a different character that I'm not really playing anymore so I decided to put them on here and I'll probably use them for um, for the rest of the time that I play this character and then I purchased a windscreen boots these are the boots that I'm gonna keep for the rest of the game I'm pretty sure as well um, they're not really that bad of boots. They have uh, all elemental resistances. They have movement speed and elemental damage, all of those of which my character can use. But the primary thing is enemies can have one additional curse, allowing me to use flammability and elemental weakness at the same time uh, on enemies. So that's really good. And then I have uh, increased duration support for curses and stuff. So. Um, last time we were heading to Highgate, so through the aqueduct here. Hmm, destroying barrels still isn't, uh, Flame Dash doesn't always work very well for that either. I don't really need to use my curses on these uh, normal enemies, so... Now that's both of the curses in action, and they really... Against magical enemies, they do, they do a ton more damage. Just need a moment to catch my breath. We're refusing, that's pretty good. I don't is the ghost still here? I don't think I'll get him. Nope. Orbis scouring, that's good. I am kind of avoiding like half of the map if I keep going straight like this. better than what I have. Armor... Just 12 evasion. I really want the evasion and energy shield version of that, but um, it has the right socket, so I'll put it on for right now. Give myself a tiny bit more energy shield. And I lose probably like no evasion whatsoever for that, because those were really low level stuff. Now 
this is where having gold curses really come in handy when you fight these these bosses. Even gave me a level for it. Didn't really drop anything uh, super amazing. So for my leveling, I am planning to get clever construction and high explosives here, because penetrating elemental resistances is always nice. And uh, and okay. Um, and then clever construction has traps cannot be damaged for five seconds after being thrown, which is sounds really good. So. Um, and increasing my damage is always nice too. That's good. Good stuff. Chromatic orb item, that's good as well. Still need to build up my chromatic orbs for when I get one I can use the higher level items so need to switch around the socket colors. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Swift affliction support. Stuff. Things can destroy the barrels for me, that's good. Oh. Cleanse the mountains of those Marketh. Heidi, alright. Reasons. Colossal Flask. I'll keep what I have for right now. If I find a magical colossal flask, then I'll switch over. We opened the gates to you for two reasons only. Dominus and piety. They made themselves our enemies. You made them dead. Now, Oyan believes there is a third reason. The beast is our enemy. Perhaps you can make it dead as well. We Maraketh are tied to our Akara, our tribe. You are a man who has cut his ties, Shadow. A man without restraint can achieve the greatest of deeds. And the worst. Perhaps it is time to allow yourself to be lashed to something greater than simply you. So basically our reward for killing Dominus is getting into a town so we can fight somebody else. May fear guide you. So <clears throat> because for piety we got a skill point and then Dominus we don't get anything besides what he drops. But, oh well. I used to hunt your kind back in Theopolis Shadow. I've seen what you do to people, and I know why you do it. Why stop being a useful question the moment we set foot in Ray class, Pataris? Without the why, what's left? How? To survive. Please, Shadow, ignore Pataris.
Be careful. Many great things begin at the foot of a mountain, Exile. So too do many tragedies. Often a path becomes a fork, and the echoes of your actions push you down one side or the other. Do you know where you were being carried? Would you like to? Fate awaits you. Okay then. And then we're gonna go here eventually. <clears throat> Talk to Talia, cause why not? The time has come, not a cockroach, to crawl up into the bowels of this nightmare, traverse its innards, and rip out its corrupted heart. Okay, then. Oyun will help us. <clears throat> go on now. Hobnob with the Maraketh Matriarch. Learn what needs to be learned, and quickly. There's a filthy darkness down in that mountain, and it's reeking with impatience to meet you. Sounds lovely. Ta you walk to us upon the backs of the murdered. Though we are both forged upon the battlefield, we Maraketh are not like you. We fight for survival, for mission, and that is why you will understand the beast within the mountain better than we do. That is why you will kill it. Lady Diala has told me this. She has much faith in you, Shadow. The question is, can we Maraketh share in her faith? Sekema Deshret sealed the mines, trapped the nightmare within its black den. The beast should never have been imprisoned. The beast should have been destroyed, yet for all her ferocity, it seemed that Deshret lacked the courage to do so. And now, after two centuries guarding this hole in the ground, this Akara lacks the strength. But you are not Deshret, and you are not one of us. You will succeed where we have failed. Deshret's banner will break the seal and open the mines. It was taken from her when she fell to Vol, the brittle emperor. Take the stairs to the southwest, descend to the dried lake. You shall have no trouble finding the brittle emperor. You'll smell him before you see him. Bring Deshret's banner home, and you will be free to pass into the darkness as you wish. Okay then, so we go to the, uh, the infamous dried lake that uh, all the veterans love for its divination cards. <clears throat> I am Tasumi, he who peers into the gloom, who hears the black hearts that thunder within the mountain deep. If you seek enlightenment, find a torch. If you seek to understand the nightmare, I can help feel your way through the dark. I understand that you like to be called a shadow. An interesting thing about shadows. They are strongest in the day, and are utterly consumed by the night. There won't be much daylight where you are going. So, Tasuni, I think his name is? How you pronounce his name? Uh, this is the guy that you trade your divination card sets to, so... If you have... A set of cards to see this guy. Now, time to go to the dried lake. Apparently the dried lake is so amazing that it's taking forever to load. Good stuff. There we go. Um. I could put on the flame golem somewhere, but I don't have room for it. I just need a moment to catch my breath. He'd love putting puncture on me. Oh, volatile flame blood? 
well, I guess this is what it is now. Um, Volatile Flame Blood, I think, um, before 3.0, they made it so that the, the Flame Blood, what it, it made it so that it would basically make the monster explode and deal tons of damage, so if you were a melee character, that was really dangerous to, uh, to encounter. Dried Lake also has some of the some of the better music that I enjoy here in this game. Put, keep putting puncture on me. Puncture is really dangerous because it's well, it's basically bleeding, uh, and. What that does is that it makes it so that you take damage over time, but it also increases the damage by a really large amount simply by simply by moving. And since it's physical damage over time, of course a evasion character will probably take more damage from it. I guess I got the right one. I think I'm getting close to Vol, Vol here. Dried Lake and Normal is level 34, so I am on track for the being the right level. Oh, and I think I hear him. Maps have way more, way more enemies in those. Just need a moment. Catch my breath. Here he is.
And of course, as an evasion character, it's obviously not a good idea to ever get hit by this guy, so... I just killed an emperor. With a feather that size, I'm going to have to get a bigger cap. So now we have the banner that takes up way too much inventory space uh, compared to what it should, probably. Though it is a banner, I guess. I probably should have used my flasks for that fight, but I was... I kind of forgot, honestly, to use any of them for the damage penetration. Oh well. Um, so that... that place is infamous for uh, people, they farm Vol to get a divination card that gives an item called Vol's Devotion. Do you need help with something? Be careful. And... And Vol's Devotion, if I remember correctly, it's an item that makes it so your Frenzy charges get turned into uh, Endurance charges? Something like that? Oh, and we should probably get our reward, huh? Um, and because of that, if you use something that gets Frenzy charges, then you basically have an unlimited Endurance charges, if I remember right. The rapture is our hope, our desperation. It will set the nightmare to boil. Cook that nice, big fishy in its own whining brine. Listen with all of your ears, not a cockroach. The rapture was Malachi's most wondrous creation. The only fire hot enough to burn the beast from existence. And its fuel? A gemling queen. Blood and flesh, and gem. Yet my selfish self did not want to burn away, and so the fire was but a tiny spark. The spark of a cataclysm. I am sorry, my love, my Malachi. Go to it, not a cockroach. Find the rapture. Make me sorry no more. Bye-bye. Well, we have our next, uh task ahead of us, I guess. Um, so, Vold's Devotion, it's a pretty valuable item that is worth a few Exalted Orbs, so that's not The bad. gate is open, and the darkness calls. Good hunting, Curse Breaker. Curse Breaker? Okay, then. Um, so, for... Explosion deals chaos damage. Huh, that's interesting. Um, so doing this quest you get a choice of different golems, and of course each golem has a different sort of buff to it when it's alive, of course. And it I would recommend having at least one golem in every build because you can have one at a time and their buffs are decent enough. Um, I currently switched over a flame golem which does a tiny bit of increased damage which is nice but in the higher levels since increased damage it doesn't 
scale very well uh, once you get um, uh, high enough skill points like level 60 and 70 you might have like hundred hundreds of percentages towards your damage so having only 15 percent increased damage doesn't really help you very it may not help you as much as it should so the chaos column does additional physical damage reduction so if you have absolutely no armor like my character doesn't not really anyway um he will give da uh four percent additional damage reduction um once he's high enough level the ice golem is for anyone who wants to increase their crit chance and accuracy so that's not bad uh the flame golem i already looked at the stone golem is perfect for melee users who rely on health regeneration because they can get up to roughly a hundred um life regenerated per second so that's uh, a nice boost to health regen and also i might end up either using that or a lightning column instead of the flame one because my health regeneration is probably going to be solely reliant on health leech and i don't know how effective that will be later on so uh, we're gonna find out and then the lightning one increases your attack and cast speed and I'm gonna try out the lightning golem uh, At some point I think so I'm gonna grab that one with you. And uh, well, I guess I can put the lightning golem right here that makes it easy. I Honestly did not realize that and the flame golem I can put here Good stuff. Uh, how do I keep forgetting this stuff? Messing, messing that up. So I think all of most of my sockets are used. So now that we have our next destination, oh, I need to talk to Tsuni because he has a quest. The gate is open. And now I hear her voice as clearly as if she was sitting right here with me. Words of a dead woman, reverberating up from the depths of Highgate. A spirit chained, yet not enslaved. Tortured, yet unbroken. That dead woman is Deshra, and our red Sakema longs to return to the dust of her mysteria. Free her. And I shall reward you as my gifts allow. The corruption will pass. So his quest, you have to find a spirit in the mines or something like that. And uh, if you find her, then you get a skill point, I think. So we're going to try to do that. Um, and in the next part, we'll go through the mines here. <clears throat>